Stasa 23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And before I get started, if you like this video, please drop a thumbs up on it. It helps out the channel a whole bunch. If not, thumbs down also works. And if you like knife content and you're not already, smash that subscribe button with the bell notification so you don't miss any of the content. All right, today I have for you the Civivi Knives Imperium coming in at $89. And uh, there's several different variations. This one is in the uh, gold shred carbon fiber. And you can get it in a silver shred with the shrimp silver flakes uh, with the, the blasted stone wash blade. Or they also have it with the copper shred with the black, bl black blade. And then you can get it with the Dam Damascus blade with a different color of micarta. So they, 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 the, these run 89 um, along with the other ones that have these scales. The micarta ones are 85 with the Damascus blade, and they also have a cheaper one with stonewash blade and JG10 for $68 if you don't want this. I just figured I'd try something different. So let's get some specs out of the way so you can have an idea of the size of the knife. You have a total length of 7.83 inches, so it's a nice medium medium going into that larger side uh, EDC knife. You have a blade length of 3.5 inches. You have a grip area from the forward trawl to the back of uh, three and three quarter inches. You have a handle thickness of 0 0.51, so a little above average. And you have a close width in the pocket from here to here of 1.05 inches, so nice and slim in this dimension. And uh, you have a blade stock thickness of 0 0.11 inches, so not too bad. And uh, the behind the edge thickness on my particular knife is around 15,000, sharpened at 21 degrees per side. All right, before we get any further into this knife, let's break off into some cutting footage and we'll be right back. All right, we'll check the factory edge. Very, very sharp. All right, sliced very, very well. Edge is still good. Alrighty, we're gonna attempt to cut this 3 8 twisted sistile rope uh, as many times as I can, or as much as I got of rope. Alrighty, it sliced very well, 28 cuts, uh, still feels pretty sharp. Yeah, very sharp. One thing I did notice is these hard edges right here on both sides are not the most comfortable when putting down a lot of pressure. You can see that right there. All right, we're gonna test the air goes on this uh, pine two by four, and we're kind of see how that edge is if it's still biting or not. Um, I think it did pretty good. Uh, one thing I did notice though, if I didn't have my thumb up here. Uh, it was the skin, the handle's too thin up in this area. So when I hold them like this, it was just twisting the scales on me. Plus you have these uh, polished uh, scales. And once again, those hard edges aren't the most comfortable, but they're not terrible. All right, we're gonna cut up a bunch of different material. Some denim, uh, some 3 8 bungee, some dense, tubing and some bigger dense tubing with some mesh in it. All right, this thing sliced excellently. 
nice thin grind and thin blade stock. Steel screen is sharp. I love micro V. Alrighty, I hope y'all enjoyed that cutting footage. Let's take a closer look at this knife. I think it did absolutely amazing. You have this blasted, uh, tumbled look blade with a high flat grind. Nice top swedge that comes all the way down that leaves you with a nice needle-like point. Somewhat of a dainty point. You're not going to want to pry with that at all. Uh, you have Nitro V blade steel, which is good, very good, especially in a budget model. It's kind of comparable to AEBL, nice and stainless, and it takes a super keen edge, holds it for a decent amount of time. Um, you have a forward, I mean, not a forward troll. You have more of a large sharpening troll because my finger doesn't really fit in there. You have dual thumb studs that are nice and comfortable. And the blade steel is hidden right there, Nitro V. I think they said, I think it's supposedly Rockwell to 59 to 61. It's okay. Um, the jimping, I would call it medium to mild traction. You do have a slight ramp up right here. You have that fine cut jimping, but it sits almost flush with the scales right here. So you're not getting a whole lot of uh, purchase right there. I think overall the knife is attractive. Nice, slim, and sleek. Uh, easy access to that thumb stud. Oh, that was my fault. Easy access to that thumb stud. Both hands. Uh, left or right. And you have that dual deployment. You got that front flipper. Good action there. You can do it whatever way you want to do it. And you can also slow roll it without a problem. Uh, that jimping on the flipper tab right here. You get just enough purchase on it to where you can catch your thumb. I'm not the best flipper. Uh, you have the Civivi branded logo. It's countersunk. It might be just a little proud because of the contouring of these scales. You have T8 on the pivot, T8 on the body screws, and T6 on the clip. You got this uh, clear resin with shredded carbon fiber and shredded, looks like a gold flake in there. Looks pretty nice. It's got that high polish sheen to it. Contoured scales, and then you have this milling on the side just for added uh, look. And then you have like a faux bolster uh, cut out right there. You have a black backspacer. I think that's G10. I'm not 100% on that. And you have a lanyard post in the back. Black stainless scales that have been heavily, con heavily uh, milled out for weight saving. And while we're talking about weight... Uh, it feels like a featherweight anytime you got the carbon fiber. See, first in grams, so 82 grams and 2.89 ounces. Wow, yeah, very, very light, nice EDC weight if you're counting your weight. Mine is perfectly centered, like they pretty much always come. You got tip up, you got a deep carry tip up, uh, right hand carry only. It's not tapped on the left side. Sorry about that, lefties, not my fault, theirs. <laughs> uh, Let's get some size comparisons real quick. You have uh, the Hogue Large RSK. It's a little bit longer and the small RSK. So it's in between those two. And let's see, you got the Spyderco Para 2, which is gonna be a good bit longer. And you have the Spyderco Para 3 which is a little bit, uh, they're about, they're in between those two. So there you go. Um, let's see. Uh, the, the ergos were pretty good in the cutting, <coughs> but let's talk about some of my nitpicks and complaints. Uh, I think it was a, a, a missed opportunity to not have it tap for a lefty, even though I'm not a left-handed carry, but it's just very easy to uh, deploy lefty no matter what, especially with that. I can't really do front flippers left-handed, but it's easy to get that at lock bar. Just think it was a missed opportunity, even though I'm sure they were trying to keep this looking as nice as possible. Also, I noticed whenever I was uh, doing wood shaving and whenever I was uh, cutting the rope, because you have to put a good bit of downward pressure to do those two, and I was noticing that you know, they have nice contoured scales, but where they did this chamfer right here, you almost have like a 90 degree edge right here. It's not sharp. 
they kind of knocked it down a little bit but it really digs into the hand whenever you're trying to grip tight to so the knife doesn't want to move in the hand especially being that it's thin in this dimension um, and your scales are polished you know if, if i didn't have my thumb up here it really felt like it was going to kind of want to turn in my hand and uh these edges really bother my hand in the harder cuts you know what you'll probably be using this for you know just average day-to-day -day cutting down boxes string rope stuff like that it'll be perfectly fine it slices absolutely amazing the nitro v did very good as far as all the stuff i did with it um so overall i think this is a win for them i'm sure a lot of people like it i, I really i would really like to see them do the uh some american micarta with uh this blade would be awesome I don't know if anybody has the JD10 one. Let me know how they did on that that one, if it's contoured and stuff, because I, I kind of like that one. I almost got it just to dye the scales, whatever color I wanted to, but I wanted to try out their shred carbon fiber. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. And I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.